I'm here with men's soccer coach Pete Watkins. Coach, great weekend for you. Uh, you come come up with that first victory of the season with a, with a 1-0 win on, on Saturday. Talk a little bit about the game against Grinnell. I thought uh, it was a pretty dominating performance on your guys' part. Yeah, we played well. Um, it was definitely a battle in a lot of ways. Uh, pretty significant injuries on their part. I know the players that they lost um, had a big impact on the team and, and our thoughts were with them. I, I know that they're doing okay. But uh, that was a, a tough game for them, too. Uh, but it was great for our players just to get the win off our backs and, and be able to continue to look forward. So I was happy for the boys, uh, the, the returners. It took them a while. And for our freshmen, they finally got a taste of, uh, of beating a college soccer team. Well, and, and obviously you've got to take a, a little credit yourself. That's your first win as a, as a Cardinal. And, you know, as, as a coach, that's got to feel pretty good to really get that first win and kind of get things rolling in the right direction. Yeah, I, I guess I was more excited about the fact that we played well uh, and uh, and deserved to win it. Sometimes in soccer, you, you win when you don't deserve it. Sometimes you don't win when you should. So um, I, I was glad for our guys. You know, we referred a little bit to the injuries. It was a very physical game on Saturday. But you're, you guys are battling a lot of injuries right now. Your lineup Saturday was far different from the one that you had when you opened the season. Can you talk a little bit about the health of your team? Yeah, we do. We've got some guys that are on the men's, and I think they're going to be uh, uh, trending upwards for this week, which is good, especially with two big Mayak games. Um, but I was really proud of the guys that stepped in. We had three guys that hadn't seen action yet this year that played significant minutes against Grinnell and were a big part of the, the outcome. So um, the guys are starting to get some confidence and, and realize that depth is important uh, in this league and at this level. Great goal by Jacob Bina to, to give you that 1-0 lead. And when you've got Chris Williams in goal, he's playing outstanding right now. He's got back-to-back -back shutouts. Talk a little bit about the play of Chris. Yeah, he's done very well. He's really blossomed, and, and we've been able to get a lot of training in. He spends an hour before every practice um, with our other goalkeepers putting in some hard work. And uh, it's paid off, and he made saves both in our Northwestern game and then in the, our game against Grinnell that kept the match where it needed to be for us. And uh, he doesn't say a lot. He's a quiet leader, but he lets us play do, do the talking, which sometimes is the best way to do it. Now you're technically your preseason is over and you kick off the MIAC season on Wednesday at St. Thomas. Talk a little bit about your game plan for the St. Thomas game. Yeah, it, uh, well it's definitely an education for me. We're going to a great team in the league on the road um, on a midweek day. So for me it's going to be a chance to see the standard and uh, I know they've got a great assembly of talent up there and, and we're looking forward to learning the standard. Um, frankly all year we're, we're more worried about our guys than the other guys right now. We're just trying to get better as a soccer team and uh, we'll go in there with some new guys in different roles and see how they respond. Four o'clock at St. Thomas, Wednesday afternoon. Good luck, Coach. Great. Thank you.